Hi everyone, this is Anchal Soni. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about a built-in feature provided by Tableau in the form of a button called Show Hide button. I am going to discuss its relevance, uh, its use cases and its characteristics. So, let's get started. Show Hide button is available in the drop-down of the element of your dashboard. So, uh, it can be either your container or your sheet or, or any other element like your filters, legends, etc. Uh, this uh, button enables you to show or hide the element on the dashboard. Uh, majorly, it's used when you um, have a lot of elements to show on the dashboard or you have a space constraints. Uh, also, you can use this button whenever you want to uh, just highlight the um, uh, the major details in first fold and you want to preserve the detailed versions on a button click. So uh, as you can see here in sales by region when I click on this drop down I can see a button called as add show hide button. Okay so this is where you can find it. Uh, let's see um, about how you can use it to show or hide to your filters pane. So, um, I have uh, my filters button over here. A shortcut to use your show hide button on your dashboard is press the alt key and then click on your button. Um, when you are in presentation mode, you, you don't need to press the alt key. So, uh, I have opened my filters pane over here. So, as you can see, uh, these three filters were hidden because there was a space constraint on my dashboard. Uh, again, when I, uh, when I press alt and click on this button, the filter pane gets hidden. Also notice that currently the filters button appears in yellow background. When I click on this, which means my filter pane is open, it appears in white background. So I've customized this according to my requirement. You can also go ahead and do that. Let's see the customization. Um, so firstly, it shows you for which uh, container or which dashboard element you want to implement this button for. So it gets auto-populated. So it is showing uh, for a vertical container which appears over here. Then um, you are presented with two button styles. It can be either a text button or an image button. When you select the image button, you get an option to choose your preferred image. So go ahead and explore this option. I'm talking about the text button for now. Uh, all right. So um, these um, details have got updated over here. I'll just come back. All right. Since I chose that image button option, so this background got updated. So I want that when the item is shown, which means when the filters pane up is appearing, in that case, my background should be none. Uh, when my um, item is hidden, in that case, the background should be yellow. So that's how you can customize it and it improves the user experience as well that you're letting the user know that, you know, that uh, a specific pane or a specific element is uh, shown or hidden. Uh, you can add tooltip as well. So that's all about uh, customizing a button. Now let's understand what happens to the appearance of the leftover charts of the dashboard. So in one scenario, I have these two charts over here that belong to the same container. And this chart has a show hide button. So um, I'm clicking on this button. And as you can see, that cross mark has changed to a hamburger menu. That sheet gets hidden and the first chart gets expanded because these two, these two charts were belonging to the same container. Uh, this is the default view of the button, which means when you use the button for the first time, this is the uh, image uh, you will get. I will show you uh, again 
with this chart so i'm adding a show hide button over here as you can see you're getting a cross mark and um use i'm um, and i'm hiding it so you get a hamburger menu so yeah this is the default view now coming back to the um second scenario um you have um uh, um you don't have both the charts belonging to the same container so i have legends over here which belong to to a separate container and when i choose to hide this legend then there's an empty space over here and the left chart doesn't get expanded so uh, make sure that the appearance of the uh, rest of the elements of your dashboard do not get hampered when you're using this button uh, an important thing to note here is uh, whenever you um, make use of these buttons on on your dashboard these gets listed in the layout section so um, just like any other element any other container or sheets these um, buttons get listed over here so it's easy to uh, track your buttons um, also um, you can add a show hide button on a show hide button so this is my show hide button i'm going here and as you can see add show hide button so you get an option to show hide your show hide button now before you start practicing or implementing this functionality do check out your tableau version because this specific feature uh, of uh, adding show hide button on any element of your dashboard is available only in tableau versions 2021.2 or above um for any version uh, before this this functionality is available only on floating containers so do check that out that's all for this video thank you so much